Uh, hey, citizens of the Grateful Nation, how you doing? You're looking at a literal before and after photo of what you know you could be. Ooh, what is this? IDG does a learn. Oh, because of his name is is learner and is learning. Oh, I'm about to learn something. Shut up, I'm about to learn something. Wow. This is my buddy Josh, he's a former SEAL, current contractor of sorts, right? Somewhat, we can say yeah. that, right? Yeah. yeah. And you also teach here at Royal Range, right? Yep, Royal Range. You can get a class with Josh. What we're gonna do today is we're just gonna run through the basics of like, I don't know, an introductory lesson or I'm not advanced, but intermediate, maybe like- advanced, I would say. Josh says I'm pretty advanced. This is a Navy SEAL saying that I'm advanced. <laughs> One of the highest compliments of all time, though Green Beret would probably disagree. He might say that a Green Beret compliment <laughs> might be a little bit higher, but I don't know, I kind of hold them both the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some shooting and then after, I have a couple questions for Josh that you guys have asked, so why don't we just get to it? Let's start Should I put shooting. my ears on? Hell yeah. Okay. Bong, 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 bong. Bong, 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 bong. Yep, bong, bong. So how we do this one, we start with the middle one, actually. What we're going to do with Boom. the pistol rifle. So two, 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 or two, two, two. Transition the pistol. Two, two, two. Okay. Then you're finished up. Okay. Cool. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Seven, three, three. Three out. Three out? Yep. Shit. It's all right. Okay, so just as like a little bit of like, I haven't shot any sort of these drills in a couple months, so. You did great. Okay. All right, so this one we're gonna do our um, um, check drill. So one shot rifle, so we'll put okay. the empty mag back in. So it'll be one shot rifle, transition pistol, one shot, rifle back up, reload, one okay. shot. Okay. All center mass, chest shot. Right. Okay, so one, one, one. Yep. Gotcha. Eight, nine, eight. I could do better than that. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. That hole was low, right? 791, that was your pistol shot. So think about once I'm out there, as I'm pressing out, I'm prepping that trigger here. My trigger's already prepped, that way when I hit my brakes, bam, it just breaks right there. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. And that, that movement out there, even if I get it out quick, I can still pause, fast hand, slow trigger. I can still get it out there, nice, relaxed okay. pause and get a good, clean break. You ready? Yep. Stand by. Good shot. Good. 807, clean. Okay, yeah. dope. So this will be our around the world. So this is that long one? Yeah. Where it's rifle, pistol, reload pistol, one shot, check drill, reload it, bam. Switch shoulder. shoulders. Bam. Okay. Okay. For 17 seconds for this one. Okay, I'm gonna try and go not as fast because that's gonna fuck me up if I go like super You've fast. You've gotten 14 on this before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's try to go like smooth, sub 17, and then we go fast. Slow, smooth, smooth, smooth. Fast. Fast. Hey, man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, are we doing center mass? Yeah, let's we'll do okay. center mass. Shoot ready? Yep. Stand by. Good shot. Nice and relaxed, nice and smooth. That's also very bad. Good. 1686, clean. That's like, I don't know if it's like, if it's my sling now that I have it on a different brace. You swam out pretty fast. It was just once you got it, when you're trying to Here. push it over, it started choking you a little bit. Okay. All right, shoot ready? Yep. Stand by. Shot. Fuck. This is the problem. 
Good. That was 17.48 and he paused anyway. I know, right? Okay, so I'm coming out here, right? If I go out here, what I should be doing is putting my hand back here, then moving it forward. That's where I was pausing. All right, this one for the camera. Adriano, can you still hear us? I'm gonna do this in 13.5 seconds. All right. Okay. All right. And then Josh will do it after to demonstrate how it's supposed to work. <laughs> All right, shooter ready? Yep. Nice and smooth. Stand by. Low. Good. Fourteen four six. Shit. That first shot was low with the pistol. Josh, why don't you do it? It's pretty clean. All in all should be done in or under 14 seconds. I think I've passed Say two or three times, but poorly. Josh, very smooth. He'll show you how it's done. <clears throat> Just green button. Yep. Oh, the one that says go? Go. Shooter ready? Twelve point eighteen. Nice. I could do that better. You could do it better. Yeah. You want to try and do it better? Yeah. I got caught up on my mic here. Okay. Josh says he can do better. <laughs> I think he can. That's one of the fastest I've, I've ever done. I've seen him though. do it better. Uh. I think I think he could go ten point zero five. Uh, is the shooter ready? Yep. low but 12.06 I'll take that okay Adriano if you can get a load of that that's the wrist injury that I've commonly spoke about since having that injury it's a little bit harder my dexterity to get my hands on things fully and feel like I've got a confident grip so Josh has helped me kind of get around that a little bit of tape on things works too but yeah we want to try another drill any sort of uh, movement or what, yep, what do you that. think? If we're gonna do the check drill while moving, just to add a little bit of movement in there. Okay. So we'll start here. Yep. As we're coming up, <clears throat> um, basically I'll give you a move call, then I'm gonna hit the beep. Once you're on the beep, so once you start moving, you're set low ready here. Yeah. On the beep, come up, one shot over here, transition, pistol over here, one shot. Once you get this blue line, kind of stop. Get your rifle back up and one shot on this one. Okay, so move, so move up, low ready, yep. on the move. Yep, move, move, beep, beep, one shot here. Yep, transition Beam, pistol. Go ready, one shot here on the blue line. Yep, boom, shoot pistol. That's it. Yep, or reload rifle and then back there. Yep, reload rifle and one shot back over here. Okay, gotcha. Don't have to reload pistol. Yep. It just kind of gets your situational awareness up of where I need to stop, one, because right. you're thinking about that, so it kind of throws off your manipulation a little right. bit. Right, okay. But we are stopping at the blue line. Yep. Okay, low ready. Yeah. yeah. Good? Yep. All right. Shoot ready? Yep. Move. Good. 804. Is that okay? Pistol went empty. I did. I saw that. I should have immediately reloaded we'll cut it. Cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I like I got the beep here and I went up here, boom, and I kept moving. Can you rush it to the blue line, or do you want to just keep a steady pace to it? So I don't want any stoppage at all. I no want just slow all. movement with your feet, right. just like when you're walking with your rifle. It was nice and smooth, right? So once you got the beep, it's nice and relaxed. Yeah. Boom. Same thing with pistol, boom. I have to be situational aware to stop here right. to get all my reload stuff Okay. Done. Move. Why did I do that? 
That was just all of a messed up. But I need to do that again. That's the whole point. It's just trying to like throw you off because you're thinking about other things now. And we kind of put that into the world basically. It's like there's a lot more going on than just a paper target that's not moving. Right. So it's like, okay, now I want you to think about stuff while you're doing it. And if I were to give you numbers to shoot as we're going, it just throws that off more. So it's more of a cognitive stress instead right. of like a emotional or, you know, self-induced stress. Okay. All right, we'll try that again. Shoot ready? Yep. Move. Good. So, if you guys are thinking about buying your first gun, if you have your first gun, buying your first rifle, you got questions about good places to train, if you have a range on your property, what sort of drills to do, it's a good starting point. But uh, this is the post that I made for you today. Nice. So let's let's answer a couple of questions here. Um, let's see. Did seals really kill Bin Laden and throw his body in the ocean? Oh. That's from Bridget Moore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can comment. If so, we'll pass on that one. Okay, pass on that one. Uh, Emily Rose wants to know, least favorite and favorite training exercise? Uh, like workouts? Uh, no, for guns. Oh, guns. I like doing these manipulation things, especially rifle and pistol, both. Okay. Because people don't realize, like, just where the finger needs to go just to release a mag. Like, you got to be quick and you have yeah. to know exactly where it's at. So just the muscle memory of the manipulation of just both rifle and pistol, both, especially where your gear's at stage, you know? Right. So it takes a lot of practice. We had a guest on the show who talked about the benefits of, like, one reload one or, like, two reload twos. But then they also talked about, like, some of the, what's the opposite of a benefit? A negative effects yeah. of those reload drills. Do you find any negative effects of the real, reload uh, drills? With well? one reload one's a little bit, but you're still getting the, because most common shots are first one mm -hmm. and the one after reload, so you're right. kind of hammering those away, but also managing recoil, especially with a rifle, yeah. you need at least two shots. Because if you're not rolling your shoulder in, everybody can kind of get away with one shot. Right. But if you need to do three, four, five shots after that reload, then yeah. and you're not set up for it, then you kind of... I find it good because you know what an empty magazine feels like yeah. when that bolts back. Yeah. So I find I find benefit to those. A lot of people don't know what that feels like too. So that's just another manipulation thing that they're just ingraining in their brain as well. Right. So. Uh, second question from from Emily: Is there truth to any Navy SEAL stereotypes, and is there any which are just untrue? Um, only ones I really know is like West Coast versus East Coast guys. West Coast are like the surfer bros, and mm -hmm. East Coast are. You walk into Virginia Beach and everybody's wearing flannels and boots, so it's... Oh, really? Yeah, it's very Are the East different. Coast SEAL bros or vets or current guys, are they more like woodland guys? Like, Somewhat. they have the acreage and they're kind of like... Yeah, they're more like they grew up in this, like Tennessee and Kentucky and gotcha. stuff like that. I think majority of people... But it's kind of different. I mean, a lot of West Coast guys are from here, too. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. I don't want to ask that. I'll show it to you after. <laughs> Sh uh, Slay, Slay the Sasser. Here's the last question before we get into more training. Should I enlist or go officer for the teams? Um, you're gonna do more fun stuff like shooting and all that if, if you you're enlist. enlist. Yeah. And I say that because of deployments. Okay. You're still gonna train as an officer and do the same stuff, but right. you're also not gonna be the doorman going into a house okay. on deployment. So. Uh, someone, what a, guys, you gotta work on these questions. Thoughts on guns. We're at a gun range <laughs> with a Navy SEAL. <laughs> I like guns. And a guy who hates the ATF. So yeah, thoughts on guns. Also, before we get back into it, you were, what what number team were you? When two. You were, you were SEAL, SEAL Team, team two, two. two. SEAL Team Two for seven years, and then uh, sniper instructor for all the SEAL teams What for did two you years. do on the teams? You were a sniper on the teams for most of that? I was for or? a little bit. My first deployment, I didn't get to go to any school, so I was just an AW gunner, so okay. I handled. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not, but. Uh, <laughs> I'll redact it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I did, I was just an A-dub gunner, so I was just a new guy. Okay. Carrying stuff. Here we go, uh, from uh, Matthew. What military movie do you believe is the most accurate to actual military service that you've seen? Um, as far as tactics or? Maybe a little bit of both. I guess so. Um, so I think. I think Lone Survivor was probably one of Lone those, one of those better ones. Lone Survivor was pretty good. It's a lot of like land warfare stuff. Right. Obviously like Zero Dark Thirty when they're actually in the house, it's you know pretty uh, Have you ever on. seen Active Valor? Seen Active Valley. I got that, a couple yeah. of my instructors were uh, the actors in that. There so you go. Cool. Um, that was pretty good. It's 
that was one of those Hollywood things that makes it way cooler than it is. Like right. the guy falling out of the water and like you catch it. Yes. Him. Yeah. I don't know who could do that, but <laughs> who knows? Uh, uh, from Nathan, turning 21 soon, what's a good starter handgun? I've been recommended uh, FN Sin Glock. I'm always going to say Glock. I, yeah, I think Glocks are good. That's what I kind of started out with shooting. Yeah. Um, I'm just putting this back in your pants. Though you have recently moved. Now, the SEALs commonly use the SIG 226. Yeah, so Is I that had issued by the Navy? So I had 226 for my entire my entirety in the teams. And then when I got out, they switched to the Glock 19, I think it was. Okay. Um, but I shot a Glock 17 forever, just yeah. traded it for a Glock or a SIG P320. Okay. Um, just to kind of match my X5. So okay. I have this one and I have my compact. Josh carry. has very big hands. Like I said, it's the before and after. So his guns tend to be a little bit bigger. And there's, you know, yeah. It's it just how fits, you it fits use it. better, and that's that's the biggest thing. People get these little tiny guns yeah. to carry, and they can't shoot it because you can't even hold it. It's right. too tiny for it. You know right. I mean? so. Let's do our triple five. What's so that? Five yards, five shots, and five seconds. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Oh, it was empty. Good shot. 402. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. <laughs> 317. Good. 282. Were they off to the right? Yep, all the right. And we had one just low. Yeah, they're all in. One was just low right. So it was that always was, that last shot, usually. That was the slide didn't go back either. Shoot right. Yep. Stand by. <laughs> two nine two. Clean. They weren't in though, right? Were they? They were in. They were in. That circle, yeah. Oh really? Okay. Wow, look at that. Okay. All right, Adriana, you want to shoot yourself a rifle? Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's just gonna be one shot. That's your magazine. So with your left hand, just go ahead and load it. Bolts facing forward. Good. Make sure it's seated good. Good. Give it a tug. Now with this button up here, bolt release. So just push it in, into the gun. Oh, push it. Yep. Now you're loaded up. And if you want to do a press check, all we're doing is grabbing this. This is called the charging handle back here. We just pull it back, see that there's a round in there, and then let it go. Is there a forward assist if this doesn't go forward all the way? And uh, how should I? Uh here. So we kind of, if I'm shooting pistol, that's kind of where my hand goes for my rifle. So wherever, I'm, it's not really, I don't extend my arm when I'm shooting pistol, so it's about right here. So for me, I literally just have this here and I put these two fingers between it because that's where I feel comfortable with it. It gives me a touch point every single time I'm shooting the rifle. I see. Now with your butt stock, instead of, I'm not using this whole thing, I'm only using about the bottom uh, third of it. So that's where I'll put this up in there. That way it gives me a good cheek well because I'm laying my cheek on the side of that rifle as well. Good. See how you kind of bounce back a little bit? Yep. So now I want you to overly lean forward and see how that feels. And then we'll kind of work in the middle okay. of those two. So on this one, I want you to, from the hips only, just lean forward nice and tight. Like you're getting ready to like push a big heavy door open or something. All right. All right. Good. See how that ma manages it a whole lot better. Yeah. And all it is is me just finding that sweet spot of where I can work this gun and stay loose. I see. Okay, loose muscles are fast muscles. So if I can stay loose and still manage this, then I can start doing multiple targets and stuff too. There you go. We're done here. Thank you very much, Josh, for, for teaching me how to shoot. We really do appreciate that. Um, that was awkward. I had fun though. Yeah, I did. I did have fun. Thank you very much. Um, again, listen, I'd love to be here every day doing this, but if I can get out and train with Josh at least once a month, if you can get out and train with someone at least once a month, one on one, that's great. But if you can get to the range by yourself and just, you know, get a bay and now spend I say, an hour there. you can get one lesson and then just dry fire the rest and you can get way better. That's what I do at home, man. Yeah. But can you just say that I I'm, can tell. that I'm past 
immediate, like in intermediary or what do you call it? Uh, yeah. I mean, immediate? you've come to our gunfire courses. I mean, yes. that's like yeah. rifle pistol, the yeah. kind of end all be all. So the aim would be for me to just enlist in the Navy. I don't even have to go through buds or go through any of that <laughs> stuff. I'll just become a seal because I'm so good at shooting paper targets from seven yards away. Yeah. So I think I could do that. I think you could. Yeah. If I could like knight you, I would. I don't know. Oh what wow! It's, I don't know Can what I? It, I don't know what it'd be called. But well, you're a seal. I know you were friends, so technically I'm a seal, right? Yeah, I'll claim you. Technically, yeah. I'll okay, cool. <laughs> well, thanks, Josh. We appreciate you're you welcome, for coming buddy. out here. Awesome. That was fun. <laughs>